Have you ever noticed your skin getting soggy and white after a long bath? That's called maceration. It's a condition that is often associated with improper wound care, but it can also occur in perfectly healthy skin that's been exposed to moisture for too long. Maceration happens when the skin remains in contact with moisture for an extended period. This could be water from a long bath or shower, sweat after an intense workout, or even the moisture from a wound. Among the common causes of maceration are prolonged exposure to water, sweat, pus, urine, and feces. Certain conditions such as hyperhidrosis, which causes excessive sweating, and poor hygiene can also lead to macerated skin. So how can you tell if your skin is macerated? Well, macerated skin is often lighter in color. It becomes wrinkly, soft, wet, and soggy. It's similar to the way your fingertips prune up after a long swim. But unlike pruny fingers, macerated skin can cause discomfort, especially if it occurs around a wound. Now, it's essential to understand that maceration isn't just a cosmetic issue. It can also slow down the healing process of wounds and make the skin more susceptible to infection and breakdown. That's because the moisture weakens the skin barrier, making it easier for bacteria and other pathogens to penetrate. So what can you do if your skin becomes macerated? The first step is to expose the affected area to air. This helps dry out the skin and return it to its normal state. If the maceration is around a wound, specific bandages such as hydrofibers and high-absorbent dressings can be used to absorb the excess moisture and protect the skin. In summary, maceration is a condition where skin becomes lighter in color, wrinkly, soft, wet, and soggy due to prolonged exposure to moisture. It can cause discomfort and slow down the wound healing process. But with proper care and attention, macerated skin can be managed effectively to prevent further damage. So anytime you notice your skin getting a bit soggy, especially around a wound, remember, you need to take action to dry the wound and prevent further damage. It's about the health of your skin and optimizing wound healing conditions.